Trying to describe an eye eye is not very easy because it's so different from any other animal. I guess because it looks like a creature made up of spare parts from other mammals. But as you'll see, the eye eye is a very special animal that God created just the way he wanted it for the part of the world it lives in. Few people have ever seen, let alone heard an eye eye, but those who first discovered it named this creature for a peculiar sound that it makes, eye eye. The eye eye is only found in the tropical forests of Madagascar. They're arboreal, meaning they eat, live, and sleep in trees most of the time. They're omnivores, eating mostly wood boring grubs, but at times they'll feed on seeds and fruits and bamboo shoots. Since there aren't any woodpeckers in Madagascar, it's the job of the eye eye to get rid of insects that destroy trees. Eye eyes live about 10 years in the wild and more than 20 years in captivity. Unfortunately, they're one of the world's most endangered animals because the rainforests of Madagascar are disappearing, making way for agriculture and urban growth. Their other enemies include snakes and birds. Full grown, they weigh about four pounds. They're roughly three to four feet long from the top of the head to the tip of the tail. Some think the eye eye looks like a rodent. Others, they think it looks like a thin cat with a huge tail. Actually, the eye eye is a primate. They're related to gorillas, chimpanzees. They're part of the lemur family. From one angle, an eye eye kind of looks like a squirrel with a long bushy tail that makes the rest of it look small. But when it turns to look at you, it has a face like a raccoon and enormous ears like a fox, but without the fur. Its teeth are strong and sharp like a beaver's. Its eyes are huge like an owl's and are brilliant orange, which can look pretty spooky in the dark. And since they're nocturnal, you'll only see them awake at night. Strangest of all are the eye eye's long bony fingers, especially the middle fingers. Unlike other animals, the eye eye's middle finger doesn't really look like a finger, but more like a long skinny twig that extends past the other fingers, and there's a good reason for that. During the day, the eye eye sleeps in a leafy nest in the forks of branches, but all during the night it hunts for food. The eye eye's favorite foods are insects or grubs that burrow into wood. Like a bat or an owl, the eye eye uses a form of echolocation to find its prey. Tapping on the trunk like a woodpecker, the eye eye listens for bugs moving around. Using its chisel-like teeth, the eye eye chews a hole into the wood. Then, with that long, skinny finger, it reaches deep into the tree and pulls out a juicy midnight snack. And because its eyesight and hearing are as good as an owl's at night, living and hunting in the dark is not a problem. Since the eye eyes mostly eat insects under the bark of trees for their diet, it would have a very hard time surviving without the special tools God gave it. It's extra long middle finger, it's incredible sense of hearing, it's big sharp teeth, or it's powerful eyesight to see in the dark. How could something like that evolve? And how long would it have taken? Eliminate just one of those special features and the eye eye simply couldn't survive. It had to have all its parts from the beginning to keep from going extinct. I think God created the eye eye just like we see it today, with the purpose of maintaining a balance in Madagascar's ecosystem. It's through this strange animal and all creatures that creation is proclaiming the glory of our Creator. Like the stars at night, it exhibits God's originality and purpose seen in every creature, even through odd looking animals that eat odd tasting meals, like the eye eye from Madagascar. The Bible tells us over and over that creation is shouting from every point in the universe that God is the designer and creator of everything we see and don't see, including the wild animal kingdom, miraculous creations of God. <laughs> 